I'm going to Mexico. It's a bit of a last minute trip. I booked it on Monday and I'm going tomorrow, so I need to pack. But I went into the agency this morning to collect uh, my cards from for modelling and now I was just packing and I'm so, so, so excited. Just to be on a beach, get a tan, margarita in hand. Maybe like a mojito. I'll see what, see what I fancy when I'm out there. I mean, I've had a bad week, so I booked a solo trip to Mexico. straight to bed and I was so tired after the flight. I just had the best morning ever, basically. So I have breakfast in the hotel, which is so nice. Food was chef's kiss. And I'm, cur I'm currently in the plunge pool. <laughs> Quite random. Although I did not realize I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. Like when I say I'm in the jungle, I am in the jungle. I went on a hike to 7-Eleven. Sounds crazy, but it was a 40 minute hike. And as I was leaving, the hotel lunch is so sweet. It's like a couple that run it together. And he gave me a stick to walk to 7-Eleven because he was like, in case of snakes. So I was like, what? <laughs> snakes, please no, please no. I then went to like this bike shop because I'm thinking of renting a bike and then going to the beach tomorrow. I think that's my plan. I don't know, it might change. It's so cute. There's like this tiny town with literally, I would say like five shops, but I'm loving it. Although I don't know what it is, but since I landed, my head has went greasy instantly. It's not adjusted to the heat, it needs to climatise, so hopefully that happens soon. So I've literally put, I put sunglasses in my hair whenever it gets greasy, because then you can't tell. It's a great hack. Meh. Why is it not focusing? Hello. I'll show you what I got from 7-Eleven. It's in the fridge, and I did already make stuff with the things I got. I got bananas, some apples, and then I got tomatoes with an avocado, tuna, and then some tortilla wraps. That's what I made for lunch. I made this wrap with like the avocado, tomato, and tuna. Oh, the avocados hit. Like I know it's renowned for guacamole and everything because of Mexico, but in literally the best avocado I've ever had. And that is not with a name. That is without exaggeration. Like, I just love when they make things with towels. So cool. This is the bed. Stunning, had the best night's sleep. Um, a very cute little wall decoration. An outside seating area looking at the pool, which I think I'm gonna head to now because I need to tan. I need to get the tanning. The tanning game needs to start now. <laughs> to get my dinner i got tacos and oh my god on the way i did not notice this on the way in but there was this cave and at first i was like oh my god this is literally the death of me um preparing for an article being like 19 year old girl found dead in a cave but i went in and it was so beautiful like i think that's where i saw like a sign it was for birds um i think that's where the birds went i didn't really know but then I went into town again and I stopped at this little like food place. Just looked so cute and wholesome. I ordered a mojito and oh my god, when I tell you it's the best mojito I've ever had in the entire world. Like everything, why is everything just better on holiday? I don't know, maybe it's the sun. I made it fresh with lime, like it wasn't like lime, it's just everything was handmade. Well, not the alcohol, I don't know how they made what I learned about. No. Okay, then I got the tacos and I headed back up to here. I think I'm going to head to bed now. I Clara was meant to join me, my best friend. She didn't end up joining me, and this is why it's a solo trip now, but do you know what? I don't mind the solo trip. I thought I was gonna get, not lonely, but I think of like, what am I meant to do? Or like, what, what do I do? But meeting everyone and the locals has made it so much better because I think there's a community in every place you go to. And now I've emerged myself in the community. Because I'm out here by myself, thanks to Clara. Because she went and booked a job. So we're not friends anymore. I don't speak to her because she cancelled on me. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, but yeah. Good night. It's the morning. 
it's currently 7.04. I'm definitely still a bit jet lagged. Um, but breakfast starts at 8, so I think I'm just gonna get ready. We're get ready if you just brush my hair because I look like a mess. Much better. I mean, getting ready for breakfast, literally just brushing my hair, putting deodorant on, and then changing into, a, that was my plea rumbling, <laughs> into like a somewhat decent outfit. Just had breakfast. They made this like homemade marmalade. It's so good. I don't know what it was, but it was very nice. I had a tomato one yesterday. They kind of like switch it off every day, which is good. Anyway, yeah, it was very peaceful. There's so much like wildlife around, like the birds are chirping, which is very peaceful, relaxing. And then the dogs, like the owner's dog came over and was just staring at me. It was very cute. I'm now ready for the beach. I've got my bikini on. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for a little stroll to the beach. I say little, it's probably like a 40 minute walk, but I'm feeling strong, we can do this. Because I was going to rent a bike, however, I found out that they also do tours to like canoes, which are like, caves with water in so i want to do that so and then it's like a bike ride around the jungle as well so i think i'm gonna do that one day that my jungle that's that's like a full jungle experience i feel like um and so today i thought and then just like carrying a bike around the beach would be quite quite long don't want to do that so i think i'm just gonna walk but yeah see you at the beach i'm at the beach now it's so windy look how beautiful Life in the jungle has really taken off, that's all I'm gonna say. I started my trek to the beach. Um, I stopped in a village because I needed like a break. And then I, I was walking across highways. They, like people driving past me think, what the, what is this girl doing? I made it there eventually after like walking, God knows how long. When I tell you it was the most like breathtaking place I've ever been to, beautiful. The waters were crystal clear. And because it's like so protected, there was like signs up everywhere being like no food, no anything because like no one goes there. It's like not a tourist attraction. And I was just sitting there like minding my own business reading, going in the sea for a bit, not too much because I was scared of like the animals. And then these two guys came over and at first I was like, oh, I was doing the danger. But they were so lovely. So one was like a yoga instructor. And the other guy does like architecture. Anyways, then I just spent hours like talking to them because they were locals, so they told me everything about the village and stuff. And then he ended up inviting me along to one of his classes. So I think we're going to a yoga class uh, on Monday, which is exciting. Also, they they like know the best ken kenotes, the like underground caves. So I think they're going to take me to them as well, which is very very fun, and I'm very fortunate to have met them. I did get a tiny bit sunburn. I can't lie. I forgot to put sun cream on, so that is like all on me. I just had a shower and washed off the sand because there's nothing worse than coming back from a beach and being all sandy. I haven't got too badly bitten yet from mosquitoes. I say that as like, I've, there's a bite on my leg right now, but like I was expecting a lot worse, you know? And I had lunch in the same place as yesterday for yesterday's dinner. I had a salad, it was so good, it was so lovely. And now I'm back, I think I'm just gonna chill and relax because I'm quite knackered. Oh my god, and they gave me a lift back to the hotel, which is very nice because that saved me walking across the motorway. <laughs> so yeah. This is why I love solo travelling, because you just meet the locals, you meet the people, and that's what it's all about, you know? I think there's nothing else that beats just living, I sound but like living in the moment, if that makes sense. I think it's so easy to get like lost and caught up in life and when to come away and just see how everyone lives their lives here is very beautiful. Boop. I'm just getting ready for dinner in the hotel now, but I think I'm going to end it here, like this one, because it's getting really long. So, goodbye.
Bye.